This is David Childley, and in this session, I'm gonna be walking you through EFT, or the Emotional Freedom Technique. Now, as well as being a physical being, you are also an energy being and an emotional being. And the human body has over 150,000 energy channels, which originate from the crown, come down the body, and they tend to cross at the chest, which is a main juncture point combined with the heart chakra. And they then spread throughout the body. Now, when you have thoughts and feelings, it generates energetic impulses or magnetic impulses, which communicate between the cells. And that circulates through the whole body in a fraction of a second. So you have the thought first, the feeling then flows as a result of having that thought or, 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 or continually repeating the thought in your mind. So if you're worrying about something and worry is your main point of focus, then you're going to get those feelings of anxiety and stress because the feelings are always following the thoughts. So what I want to do in this session is help you understand what happens to us and why we feel the way we do now. If we go back to our childhoods, um, you may remember emotional uh, trauma happening happening to you or certain crisis and when that happens our energy system becomes overwhelmed and sometimes as children we tend to just shut down and when that happens our unconscious mind takes the problem away for looking after because we're not emotionally mature until we reach the age of puberty which is between 11 and 13. So if anything happens traumatic or emotionally upsetting for you prior to this period, the unconscious mind appreciates that you're not old enough to deal with it, so it takes it and looks after it for you. So what EFT does is EFT allows you to sort of replace the emotional fuses, um, so to say, that your body blew when it experienced emotional trauma when you were young. So. What we're going to do is help you understand how EFT all works. Now we have a series of meridian or energy channels that flow throughout the body and we also have key acupuncture points which surface around the body and what these do is they sort of they're like little valves and they surface on the skin of the body and when you tap them or stimulate them it sort of lets off steam so to say. So by tapping lightly on acupuncture points while we focus our thoughts on the issue that we want to clear it means that it has a very profound effect because we're so focused on the issue that we want to clear and at the same time we're stimulating acupuncture points we're sending the unconscious signal to release this emotion we are now emotionally mature we can cope we're willingly choosing to release this emotion and we want to move on and once the unconscious mind gets that message, then it is able to let you do that. Now, most things in people's lives, certainly from their childhood, are still very much an issue. And when we use EFT, we always use a negative statement, a setup statement at the beginning. And this is purely to acknowledge the issue and to make friends with it. So a classic example would be if you had some pain, for example, you would start tapping, even though I have this pain, I'm okay. And really what you're saying is, okay, I have this pain, it's been an issue, but I'm just gonna acknowledge it. Okay, I have this pain, and this pain is okay. Now, when we start tapping that, it sends the unconscious signal to the mind to let go. When something is not okay, when you have a problem or a money block or you're worrying about debt, that is an issue. That is a problem. It's something in your life that's not okay. And when something is not okay, it sends a signal to the unconscious mind to worry and to fear and to stress. And that's really the end result of those thoughts. So what we want to help you do is just let those feelings go. Um, because when you actually start acknowledging and making friends with the issues, you can then move on. You may remember years ago when you had certain challenges or problems, and at first they were real issues. You really, really weren't okay with them. But then as time went on, the problems got resolved, and at a certain point you then felt okay with it. Now that time lag is determined by you. Something can, can be okay straight away, if you simply allow it to be, or you can choose to hold on to something. Now as adults, we're experts at holding on to stuff, but as children, we don't. When something emotional happens, the unconscious mind takes that away, so the child can just focus and carry on being a child. But as an adult, 
we become very analytical and we hold on to that emotion and we churn it over and we constantly think about it and when we're doing that it generates feelings in our body it's called a trigger and you only have to think of something or maybe be out somewhere and hear somebody else talk they might say a certain word or use a tone of voice or particular hand gestures and that can trigger an unconscious nerve that will make you respond in an emotional way which probably you don't like or care much for so with EFT we simply get a piece of paper and we make a list of all of the things in our lives that are currently bothering us and with this series we're looking at money and in particular money blocks now EFT is brilliant because you have certain beliefs and certain conditions and conditioning that was put in there whilst you were growing up from the age of zero to seven as children we sort of run around a little bit oblivious to what's going on around us but all the time our parents those around us the radio the tv school it's all feeding information into our unconscious mind uh, you may remember hearing your parents say we can't afford that now the average kid must hear that thousands of times throughout their lifetime and by the time they're adults no wonder they look around the world and think you know I can't afford that I can't afford that mm -hmm. now that is a belief block that is a money block that is gonna generate a certain frequency within you that repels money and the whole point of this um, part two of this DVD is to help you release all the money blocks that you have so what I really need you to do is stop the video here grab a piece of paper and write down some of your money blocks what do you believe to be negative or bad about money do you believe money is the root of all evil do you believe you're worthy of money do you believe people in your profession earn lots of money or not very much at all do you believe you can afford the things that you want maybe you believe you're always in debt well later in this part two we're going to show you how to release money blocks and I'm going to go through the top five money blocks in my experience that people suffer from I'm going to use a technique called EFT choices and the way that works is the first thing we do is we acknowledge the belief second we choose to let it go and third we choose to adopt a new empowering belief to replace the old negative one because once you start tuning in your frequency to be positive about money it emits a different signal to the universe that gives permission for money to flow to you because you've become in harmony with it you're now starting to emit the signal that says I'm okay with money I feel good about money I have no negative hang-ups about money so really EFT is a brilliant little simple technique you simply focus on the block you acknowledge it you make friends with it and we tap a few simple acupuncture points around the body and really I want to finish this small short section by giving you some encouragement because really EFT is such a simple technique that really you don't have to get too analytical about it you don't have to understand at a profound level at a cellular level how it works all you really need to understand is that when you originally experience trauma it caused an overload in your energy system and you popped an emotional fuse so to say and here now years later this simple and amazing EFT technique can help you replace those emotional fuses so that you can get on with your life and start attracting what you want so I'll see you in the next part where we're going to go into this in a lot more detail.